in here? Life after money? Can you see me, mother? Uh, let's do a little video about money saving. This sounds a little bit echoey because I'm in my kitchen and you will notice that I am wearing outdoor clothes. So the first money saving tip is if you're not very warm inside, don't put the heating on, put more clothes on. It's no problem to put extra layers on and do without the heating. That will save you money. So I've had requests to do money saving. Um, I've got a few things laid out here and so I will make a start and talk you through it. So what have we got first? Um, well, I'm, I'm dodging about all over the place. First you will see a clock there. That clock was free to me because I found it in a skip. So if you can look around to see what people are throwing away and if you want it, ask, could I have that please? Yes, take it. So free is better than paying for something. Second hand is good. If you can buy something second hand, that's better than paying full price. Right, um, I don't expect you to make shopping bags like this. This is one that I made from cat food pouches. Now it's quite a long process. This one has a lining and it's quite difficult to sew on the sewing machine but um, and I won't let this go because I use it um, when I do talks so just to show that you can use rubbish to make something and it costs nothing virtually so uh, cooking is the main area where you can save money so if you want to make a let me get a pan let me get a pan if you want to make a cheap meal you need a pan right if you've got a, if you've got an onion you've got some potatoes you've got some carrots in the pan and there's a bit of cabbage left on that. So, in the pan, there's not much in there when it's all chopped up and cooked away. So you can bulk it out with various things. Um, green beans frozen are quite cheap. So throw some of them in. Tins, butter beans, green lentils, Spaghetti hoops are dirt cheap at the moment. I know they're going up. Everything is going up. But chuck a tin of something in it. Right? So medium noodles, egg noodles, break some of those up. Put that in the stew. And you need your spices. I use these vegetable stock cubes. Cheap. Um, and chicken casserole seasoning and the peppercorn sauce mix anything like this seasoning cubes I use very few spices I do have curry powder which I don't like a hot curry so I just put a little bit in so I've got the turmeric and the garlic granules so any of that to give it flavour please excuse my back when I turn around um, so you can make a big pan of stew which we'll do for two people for two days uh, for me it's um, three days so what next dilute 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 all liquids can be diluted um, I get this flavored water flavored water um, and it's gone up just recently. It was about 31p. Now gone up to 37, 38p. But even though it is water, 
I still dilute it. Right, I just found I just found this May 21 apple juice in the fridge. It's a year out of date. So what I will do is now drink it, <laughs> diluted of course. Talking about diluting, this is not Mr Muscle bathroom cleaner. This is washing up liquid, diluted. And if you use hand wash, get me a bit closer so you can see. Can you see me mother? Hand wash, this is an old bottle which I just keep filling up with whatever I've got. Now I've got this little bit of a, yeah, shampoo, not shampoo. Um, I don't, I don't buy these, they come in a packet when I colour my hair. So I put that in there. Anything, shampoo in there, bath, uh, foam in there, anything. And dilute it. So, when you wash your hair, you only need a tiny little bit and only wash it once. No, it often says on the bottle, do it twice, but no, don't do it twice, do it once. And now, washing, washing up pots, I've got this lemon, it's a cheap washing up liquid. Um, I very rarely use it, I have to admit. Because when I've finished eating or cooking, I set the tap to a dribble and I've got a little sponge and then I just rinse everything off. And there's never much left on anyway because I've eaten every bit of my food. So um, I just rinse it, put it on the drainer and that's it, finished. I don't have like, mounds of soap coming out of the sink um, don't need it you might need to use a bit of this if you fry food if you use a lot of oil i do use a little bit of oil but not much so rinse your pots um talking of pots pots and cleaning right you don't need to buy dishcloths or cleaning cloths or any kind of cloths because you've got lots of cloths in your home. So I have a little stack here of old towels, um, bits of sheet and yeah, anything, flat flannelette sheet, anything. Cut them up into small squares, keep them underneath the sink and you've got cloths for every job. What next? Excuse my bag. If you haven't got a shopping bag, here's a little tip. This shopping bag can screw up very, very small and put it in your pocket. And what is it? It is a pair of tights. So the bottom that's sewn up there was the waist and the handle there was the gusset so that will carry quite a lot actually um, I've got six items in there tins and packets so make yourself a little bag which is handy and don't pick up those supermarket bags because you haven't brought one with you there's no excuse now you can have one of these in your pocket. Right, so next next thing, we've done that, we've done that, we've done that. Um, breakfast, I I bought this, I bought this from, from a, a cheap cash and carry store and uh, it was 60p, but guess what? 11, 2021. So November last year, but I don't care. <laughs> so what I do with the cereal, I make porridge. I make porridge. With that, I use a chopper. Oh, I'm getting in a mess here, look. I use a mini chopper. I chop everything up. It makes it easier to eat. <laughs> 
Nacho mini chocolate porridge oats all ready chopped up can you, can you see me mother porridge oats in my little plastic pot so in there I have put some shreddies chopped up in the mini chopper right to use it up think of different ways that things can be used don't always think oh well I need some milk just put milk on that no 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 well milk would hurt, help but you could put it in with your porridge and put water with it it works just as well now I do eat uh, seeds put the seeds in the porridge now seeds it's very hard to save money on seeds so I, I do buy seeds but they will go in the mini chopper as well with to be used with the porridge or in, or anything else so if you want to if you want to sit thicken oh dear sicken sicken if you want to thicken stew to make it into a soup or even thicken the stew put porridge oats in with it that does a good job so anyway next let's have a quick look excuse my back won't you iron how can you save money with an iron well you can by not using it i have an iron but i only use it when i um, press pieces of fabric for some kind of craft project that i'm doing i don't iron clothes right i don't buy clothes that need ironing because it's such a boring thing to do hours and hours and hours and hours and all the time you're using it it's using electricity so just just don't do ironing i've been liberated from my iron <laughs> uh, so what else um I'm going to move on a bit quickly now. I've got this, which is, I got it free. Somebody was throwing it out. It's one of these long handled brush and pan things. So I can sweep the floor from a standing up position. Right. Um, this is quite good for the kitchen. I do have some kind of lino here. I mean, a lot of homes these days have got laminated floors. Um, not very good on carpets, but I even use this outside and, and when I'm cleaning the yard as well. So, um, when you want to clean floors, the, the thing is people plug in something electrical. Um, try to keep that to a minimum by using something like that. So, oops. Car washing. Who goes to the car wash? Not me. I can wash my own car <laughs> outside here on the front. So all you need is a sponge and a bucket. Fill it with water. Now quite often I will not use any cleaning agents at all. Um, if you let your car get ultra filthy you will need a little bit of something in the bucket uh, I would suggest a very weak solution of shampoo <laughs> um, you can buy car wash liquid if you like um, but I'm just trying to think of cheaper alternatives you see that's how my brain works cheaper alternatives all the time so wash your own car um gardening gardening quickly moving on i've got one of these because i've got a lot of hedges and i did let them go a bit unruly at one point and uh it was i was struggling to keep up with trimming the new growth of so i thought oh, i'm gonna have to get one of these and just go whiz right across it now it's a bit heavy actually 
but um, it did work when I needed to do give them a real good heavy trim but now what I do is put that down keep them to a manageable level with these see so I pop outside anytime I've got half an hour to spare and I look at my head and think ah get that off there trim that off there yeah so now I haven't used that electric thing for oh, a couple of years now because because I keep on top of the job you see easy um, I don't have any much electrical tools at all I don't have any electrical tools at all but so if you want to do a bit of DIY why not use an old-fashioned conventional saw? Get the exercise in as well. Ugh. That's how I built the summer house out the back, sawing up pallets of wood. So I'm going to end this now because I'm rabbiting on a bit, but it's all about the mindset. Spending and saving is about the mindset. If you, if you think about different ways to do things, um, don't just do something in the same old, same old, same old way because that's how you've done it for years, right? Think, now, is this costing me money? How can I do it for cheap, for less money? So this is me and Queen signing off now because I've been going on about oh, how long is that? 17 minutes, that's long enough. Um, so thank you for popping in, thank you for watching my channel. Please yourself, whether you like or not like, I don't care. Don't need to subscribe, don't need to watch the adverts. <laughs> See you next time.